What do you think is the worst disease illness of all time? I think it's a close tie between tuberculosis, and malaria https www. Polio was horrid, but thanks to vaccines, that one is behind us. Dot, dot. It's hot and sweaty, but if you can share a mosquito net with someone, now is the time malaria can fuck off. Severe memeologic encephalomyelitis. The most severe patients are bedridden, cannot move, eat, talk, tolerate any nose or light including screens, and some die of organ failure, and it's not generally fatal. Some live in this state for decades stuck in pain and entirely reliant on caregivers. This is what physics girl YouTuber has. I have it to buy, I'm lucky I'm only moderate in severity. It's typically triggered by a viral infection and can happen to anyone of any age and any health status. We both developed the condition as part of log COVID. Myxomatosis, man-made disease which killed 99 of the rabbit population. Slow and painful death over 14 days usually of starvation symptoms include swollen eyes, swollen genitals, white discharge, purexia, lethargy sores all over the skin, and anorexia. Any other disease here? Dementia, cancer, Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, etc. we probably deserve at this point, although a lot of them are our own doing anyway. There is no such thing as a pain at Olympics. Any illness that takes away a family member is horrific to that family. Toll. If that then just in one, or over the past million it just does not make any sense to even start naming the horrific things that have happened to me and my family when millions upon millions rot. Suffering is suffering. Scleroderma. It manifests differently in everyone. And in my mum. It went to her lungs and turned into pulmonary fibrosis. She basically took several years to suffocate to death. She was on 15 L of oxygen par by the end of her life. It was horrific to watch. Rip mama. Med-resistant schizoaffective disorder is out there. I watch way too many clients struggle with that and it still bothers me, especially the young ones. Knowing they will never be able to live on their own, hold a job, have a partner. Most won't even have friends. It's subjective for sure, but it's dementia for me. Watched my friend's mom go over 20 years with it. Some long drawn out torture I can tell you. And it wasn't just torture for her, their whole family. Fatal familial insomnia. A prime disorder you completely lose the ability to sleep over the course of a year. In which you go completely insane. Become a vegetable. And then die. There is no treatment. Radiation poisoning. I think of what Hisashi Uji went through fairly often. They should have mercy killed him. His story is so painful and tragic, and we didn't really learn anything. Over time, malaria. This is because it is just consistently taking bodies. When it breaks out, bubonic plague, it made civilizations and entire societies crumble multiple times. Rabies for me, it affects multiple species, causes the host to lose their mind and dying of dehydration because it causes hydrophobia sounds like such a horrible way to go out. Radiation poisoning by heavy dosage. Not to say that light dosage radiation poisoning isn't terrible, but the heavier it gets the more horrifying and agonizing the death. Having come of age in the 80s, I'd say it's sexually transmitted, a horrible way to die and doesn't really have for any symptoms for years and years after you contract it. Toss up between dementia and dystrophic epidermolysis bullosa. If you don't know what the latter is, you should. There's not nearly enough awareness and it is horrible. As being trapped inside your body with a perfectly intact mind is terrifying. More commonly called Lou Gehrig's disease. Rabies. Hydrophobia. Aggression. You basically become a zombie. Only a couple people have ever survived it. HIV AIDS continues to be a global health crisis, claiming millions of lives since its discovery. My GRS gave me a medication trying to kill me. It didn't work. Not a disease but close. It's treatable now. 
that tuberculosis has killed the most people by far across history. Tetanus or rabies. No cure. Only vaccines. The anti-vax people are in a world of hurt. This is super subjective. Mental anguish factor. Dementia. Physical nightmare. Ebola. I'm sure they are worse, but the one that comes to mind for me would be Alzheimer's. ALS. It doesn't affect your mind. But you are trapped in a body you can't control. Rabies. It turns you into a fucking zombie, and the survival rate is close to zero. Sanfilippo syndrome or childhood dementia. Devastating truly.